I am showing you the absolute best way to make DIY glitter ornaments with the help of a Cricut. So let's get crafty. Hey, I'm Michael. This is Mr. Crafty Pants. And to get things started, let's go over the things that you'll need to make this happen. For starters, glitter. I'm using like the best glitter on the market, in my opinion. This is the StarCraft glitter in Key Lime, as well as Island Vibes. We're gonna mix these two together because if you haven't guessed it as of yet from the thumbnail, we are making a Grinch glitter ornament. So we're gonna mix those two together. We'll also need, obviously, an ornament. You will want a clear ornament like this little guy right here. You also want a, a glue or an adhesive or something that will act as an adhesive to make that glitter stick to the inside without yellowing or anything like that. In my opinion, and I've tried so many things on the market over the years, in my opinion, this stuff is the best I've ever tried. This is the Maker's Magic from Scorch Marker. I can't say enough about this stuff right now because it really is magic. You can use it for so many different things. More on that later, but we will also need a file to make an SVG for our ornament. So let's hop over here real quick to Google. Let me go in here, we'll just search for Grinch face. Click on images and then let's see here. Here's one right here on Pinterest. Let's click on that. I'm gonna right click it, click on save image as, save it to downloads. And then I'm gonna hop over here to a site called vectorizer.ai. At the time of filming this, it is a free website to use. It may change in the future, just FYI, but currently it's free. And then let's go ahead and just drag and drop our image that we just downloaded over here and onto the screen. All right, that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and come up here, click on download. And I do wanna make sure that this is placing the shapes in cutouts below. So that's good. I also wanna make sure this is grouped by color and everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and click on download. Now let's hop over here to Cricut Design Space. Let's come over here, click on upload, upload image, drag and drop that image over here and onto the screen and then click on upload. Anyway, I got this now selected under the recently uploaded images and then come down here and click on add to canvas. And there we go. Let's go ahead and come up here, click on ungroup at the top right. I wanna move this basically out of the way. Let's actually just zoom out real quick. This right here, this little white background, we're just gonna delete that out. This right here, it's just an outline. We don't need that either. Let's delete that out. And then we now have the eyes, which I'm gonna go ahead and weld together by coming down here, click right here where it says combine and then weld. And then for the black of this design, I'm gonna come down here, do the same thing, click on combine and weld. I'm gonna try to get by with around three inches for this. So I'm gonna make sure that both of these layers are selected. Come up here to where it says size and for the width, put in three, hit enter like so. And then let's come up here to the top right, click it on make. We don't need to do anything here except for click on continue. First layer to cut out is the black. I'm using the StarCraft HD permanent adhesive vinyl for both of these layers. Honestly, the best permanent vinyl on the market and probably one of the most affordable as well. It's so good. All right, let's go ahead and look, take this and we'll load it in the machine after we select the type of cut setting we'll need. And for this, I like to use the premium vinyl permanent glossy, although this is a matte vinyl. By the way, everything that I'm using will be listed and linked down below with some discount codes if applicable. So while that's over there cutting and doing its thing, I do want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor of this video, FlexiSpot, because they recently helped me surprise Heather over at 143 Vinyl with a brand new desk slash miniature office refresh. Now I'm sure a lot of y'all already know Heather over at 143, but what you may or may not know is that she is honestly one of my closest friends. I love her to freaking pieces. She is one of the most hardworking, most genuine, most loving people that I know, period. And if you need any proof of that, she puts up with me. So, I mean, basically at this point, she's achieved sainthood. <laughs> But because I have been over at 143 Vinyl a lot here lately, working on a massive, huge project that is coming very, very soon. Wink, wink. And because I have been working so closely with Heather on all of this, well, I've noticed that not only does she just have a huge workload on her, period, but also her current desk, her current office situation, it wasn't doing her any favors. Not only was her current desk very non-ergonomic, but it was also just big and bulky. So when FlexiSpot reached out to me and asked me about sponsoring my video for one of their desks, I basically responded and asked, well, what if we did that for my friend Heather because I knew that she needed it way more than I did. So that's exactly what we did. We went in there, helped her clean out her current office, as well as take apart that old clunky desk, move that thing on out. And before we knew it, we were assembling the FlexiSpot E7L bamboo top desk. 
That thing is 72 inches by 78 inches by 30 inches. One of the reasons why I wanted this so badly for Heather is because not only is this way more ergonomic in my opinion, also way more comfortable, but she can go from sitting to standing whenever she feels the need to in just a few seconds flat with that advanced keypad. It is all electronic. She doesn't have to crank a lever or anything like that. It is all at a touch of a keypad, which is just so freaking cool. Now, not only do I think this is a game changer for her in terms of comfort and just ease of use, but also this thing brightened up her office so freaking much, made it look like a brand new office in my opinion. And honestly, I'm personally obsessed with it. Now, as far as what Heather thinks about all this, I have a good feeling that she's pretty much obsessed with this thing as well. So again, a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. I am gonna go ahead and take my ornament. Let's go ahead and unplug that real quick by just pulling the stem out. I'm gonna stick it in this little Gladware container like so. Pull out a little funnel. And then just pour a little bit of this Maker's Magic into it. Let me go ahead and unload this. Flip the mat over. Peel the mat away from the vinyl so you don't actually hurt the vinyl. Take our next layer, put it down here. And let's get that started cutting too. All right, so let's go ahead and take this. We'll just rotate it around, swirl all around. All right, so it really is covering, but we will need more of that Maker's Magic, I can already tell. And it's okay if you put too much, because we'll honestly, we'll conserve it. We'll actually drain out what we don't use. All right, let's go back to this. You just wanna make sure it gets a really good coating all the way around. All right, it's got a good cover, but we also have some still left in there. You can see it floating around. So, and grab that Maker's Magic bottle. Again, we're not wasting anything with this. Taking a little piece of transfer tape, going over the top like so. Taking a little X-Acto knife, cutting a little X into it. Again, giving this like a nice little good swirl for good luck. And then we're gonna take this, plug it down into this little X that we just cut out so that it can drain it back into the Maker's Magic bottle. We're not wasting anything, but we're also not getting any Maker's Magic residue onto the outside of the ornament as well. All right, pin pan weeding tool for the win when it comes to weeding. This little guy right here, love this thing. Fact, this weeded out small details like butter is honestly the reason why everybody needs to be using the StarCraft. It's so freaking good. Like seriously, easy peasy lemon squeezy, so good. All right, now let's mix up some glitter. I could probably get by with the key lime by itself, but you know, I'm extra, what can I say? You just pour some of that in there, mix in some of this island vibe as well. Just wanna get this a nice little swirl in here. Mix it all up real nice, you know? Like I like to do. <laughs> and I don't know about y'all, but that's like, that's Grinch green. Like that's so good. All right, this stuff is all drained. It's good to go. That literally took no time. All right, so here we have this. I'm gonna stick it down this little Gladware again. Stick a little funnel, stick it in here. New funnel, not the same one we use with the Maker's Magic because that could be a mess. So here's the glitter. Let's pour it in. All right, let me pull out some rubber gloves. Now we're getting all up close and personal, all right? I'm gonna take my, take my gloved hand, plug that hole. We're gonna shake it like a Polaroid picture, y'all. Seriously, just all around. Mmm, that's so good. It's so freaking good. All right, got good, nice, full coverage. All right, so I'm gonna take the excess glitter, dump it out here in this little container. It's good. I'm gonna go ahead and set it back here in this little container. I'm gonna cut off some more transfer tape. This stuff is like the gold standard of transfer tape, in my opinion. It's so good. This is the prettiest cut of transfer tape ever. No, but will it work? Absolutely. freaking lootly All right, take this. I'm gonna stick it down onto the black layer first. Grab my little squeegee. Flip it over. I'm gonna peel the backing off the vinyl and the transfer tape, not the other way around. Boom. Let's stick this onto the ornament. Now, when it comes to putting a vinyl decal onto a round surface, it may help sometimes to go in here and just put in some little slits around that transfer tape. Make it easier for it to actually contour to the round surface. But here we go. I'm just gonna go in here with my fingers and just kind of push that the rest of the way down. Let's go in here with the yellow layer. Again, flip this over, peel the backing off the vinyl and transfer tape. 
All right, so time out. Let me just say that November 22nd, 2023, something so mind-blowingly huge is happening. It has not even yet been announced. But I can tell you, it is so freaking crazy. People are going to flip out over this and be fighting over whatever this may be. And there's a very, very limited quantity. You do not want to miss out on this especially if you love Christmas and have a Cricut cutting machine. It's a total game changer, but if you wanna get exclusive first access to find out what this announcement is, then you need to head over to mcpcountdown.com. That's completely free to do. Just put in your information and you'll be amongst the very first people to find out about this crazy awesome news. Because again, you, you don't wanna miss out on this. There's a very, very limited quantity and more details are coming very, very soon. Again, mcpcountdown.com. The link is also down in that description box below. It's gonna be so good, y'all.